Nama. Okay. And sorry. I am Nimi Kurian. I am an associate professor at the Center for Policy Research, which is a premier research policy institute in New Delhi, India. Um, I basically look at uh, the social exclusion challenge in India and China, particularly the marginalization along India-China peripheries, that is India's Northeast and China's Southwest. Great, thank you. We've read a few articles that you've written about India-China. Have you been through China before? Yes, I've, I've been there a, maybe half a dozen times. Um, been there for conferences. I've been to Southwest China, that is Sichuan, um, Yunnan, um, then to Beijing, Shanghai, Hong Kong, a few times. <laughs> and since you've been into China, you know, since a lot of fellows have been to China who applied and then, you know, they got a chance, but, you know, for you who is so familiar with the country or writes a lot about policies in that country, why would you want to apply for a fellowship up there? Yeah, no. Actually, what I find really interesting about this um, fellowship program is the fact that, you know, at the outset, when you look at both India and China, they're changing so dramatically and changing so rapidly that um, it's essentially like studying two fast-moving targets. And and it, it really, um, a program like this, the uh, the most attractive aspect of this program really in my opinion is the fact that we as a, you know five fellows from India and five fellows from China and now also from the new school we, have, we get thrown into um, this program which actually sets no um, lays down no red lines does not set out any goalposts and allows us in the process to uh, you know to learn as well as unlearn because as countries, we come with a great deal of baggage, baggage of, you know, mistrust and, and, uh, and mental disconnect. So it's, I feel, even though I have, I have been studying China for, for several years now, I feel a program like this, and the reason why I applied for this was because um, I thought it will help me um, keep my ear to the ground on how the debate on especially on prosperity and inequality is shaping up in China the the prospect of holding structured conversations with a bunch of Chinese uh, scholars and uh, so which which I thought will be um, and and I said it's it's also an opportunity to learn as well as unlearn in the sense it's I feel while there is a great deal of stress on learning I think it's just as important to unlearn many of these caricatures, many of the old ways that we have um, um, got used to um, looking at each other. So uh, and 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 keeping, you know, putting at each other in these comfortable little boxes. So I, I think it puts a, a lot of creative pressure on each one of us in this program to think out of these. I mean, to leave the comfort of these set positions. And what do you hope to accomplish in the next few years after having sort of get the first taste of this? Yes. Um, what I, in, in fact, it's, it's very interesting. The, the retreat part of, the, of, the, um, of, our, of this program has really turned out to be a hugely um, interesting um, uh, part, really, because we have uh, over the past two three days we have actually uh, bun uh, you know we have formed these subgroups and i think there are somewhere around 10 subgroups working on on various aspects which speak to the theme of prosperity and inequality and as a friend of mine mentioned it's really speaking to the latter part that is to the inequality part so in effect all these um uh, uh, eight or nine subgroups that we have formed actually speak to this central concern of inequality. To, so, um, what uh, and what I'm really excited about is the fact that I have now I am now in three collaborative projects. One of which is um, um, broadly speaking um, around the theme 
of rethinking borders to rethink borders and to look at an alternative border discourse that looks beyond the very narrow militaristic conception of security and then we are also looking at uh, what is the transnational uh, what is, what are the transnational governance issues that a, a shared subregion uh, throws up for india and china and these are questions really that have been little studied and very little understood and and there's a lot of um, baggage a lot of misconceptions especially about when you look at a region like india's northeast and china's southwest and and I, as i mentioned sometime earlier when i was introducing myself to this group um, it's when you look at india and china the conventional imageries of india and china you think of look you know you think of new delhi and beijing but it's it's very ironic that despite the compelling immediacy of this long border we do not think of alternative locations along the border like gangtok or guwahati or lhasa or kunming so uh, so i think this exercise is all about really rethinking those spaces and to understand the the shared subregion that we share uh, and the, the subregion that we share and so then one of the second project that i'm looking at is um to look at uh, how india and china manage the politics of information access and we are uh, and this is again a very exciting uh, project and there are um, you know i think six of us in this three um chinese and uh, three indian academics um and uh, no not just academics it's it's actually quite a diverse group three indians and three chinese um uh, uh, fellows and uh, here we are in a, essentially trying to study and compare two uh, laws uh, one is the one is india's right to information act and uh, in china it is the china's comparable law is the um the that is could be could be slow yeah. <laughs> I what I'm forgetting the Yes, I got it. Should I should I go go all over no, again? Just uh, start the sentence over. Yeah. yeah. So so we are, we are essentially studying two um uh, two laws that is India's Right to Information Act um which was passed in 2005 and um China's Open Government Information um ordinance. which actually comes into force this may so it's actually uh, it's very fascinating to study uh, we are trying to look at how what were the set of pressures or or circumstances that led to the formation of these laws and why um, both india and china feel the increasing necessity to speak to uh, to common concerns of transparency accountability and responsiveness so that's the second project the th- a third project i'm looking at is the sustainability challenge that india and china face especially within this sub region that i mentioned and um, looking at a set of ec- ecological imbalances that this region is facing and particularly addressing the water and environment um, uh, interface that's fantastic yeah great anything else you want to say i think We covered a lot. Yeah, we covered a lot. Is there anything else? Any thoughts about the fellowship so far, or you know about China? Your impressions of China? Do you want to say? No, I I, I guess. Uh, yeah. 